एक of course we celebrated the 88th edition of AAFT festival of short digital films in contribution to all the national and international programs uh, we made it a point that we must have another interesting program which should touch the cultural it's a not only coincidence but it's a, it's a matter of great pride for all of us that the member parliament from noida is uh, actually the cultural tourism and civil aviation minister of government of india i'm very happy that today we have with us to inaugurate this uh, wonderful global cultural summit no other than the member of the legislative assembly of up from noida uh, honorable mrs vimla batham let's give a big hand to vimla batham ji vimla batham ji the most important person the first lady of this area the well known social worker she has been in uh, bharti janata party for many years and she's been serving this constituency for a long time i'm very happy that uh, she could make it for this wonderful event and i'm happy ma'am that you are here today with us i'm very happy we have with us ambassador uh, dr veeni prasad agarwal let's give a big hand to dr veeni prasad agarwal who's been in indian foreign service for long year and he has represented india in number of countries abroad he's been one of the most dynamic a very energetic uh, ambassador in his tenure he has uh, created some wonderful records uh, in foreign service and i'm happy that president of india always been appreciating dr vini prasad agarwal for his uh, intelligent steps which he has taken when he was in services for all these years dr vini prasad agarwal 14 years back also created a wonderful organization called association for asian union and that uh, organization has done commendable job and i'm sure dr vini prasad agarwal is going to actually speak about that organization in few minutes let's give a big hand to dr vini prasad agarwal for his gracious presence here today well i'm very happy we have with us uh, uh, dr anthony raju anthony big hand for dr anthony raju is a by profession he is a advocate from supreme court which is the highest body legal body of the country but also he has created a wonderful organization called all india council for human rights and this uh, council has done a commendable job in all these years this uh, organization not only appreciating all those people who have done well in different fields in india and abroad but also it has gone to the grassroots level in solving most many problems which uh, any individual has been facing uh, uh, in concern to human rights i'm very happy that uh, uh, the all india human rights council is affiliated to united nation let's give a big hand to dr <laughs> well i'm very happy that uh, we have with us uh, uh, dr rishi raj singh director nespa big clap for dr rishi raj singh a very dynamic officer of uh, the ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship and also director of nesberg uh, uh, dr rishi raj singh is uh, already on the board of uh, asian academy of film and television at marva studios and uh, it is a great pleasure and honor every time to listen to dr rishi raj singh who always come with new ideas and new thinking process thank you dr rishi raj singh for your gracious presence of course we have with us uh, professor ashok tyagi uh, who is the secretary general of international chamber of media and entertainment industry uh, the only chamber in whole of the world which is dedicated and representing the worldwide uh, media and entertainment industry there may be probably 10000 chambers in the world but then there is only one chamber which is uh, seriously and sincerely dedicated to media and entertainment industry in this chamber we have around 
uh, 162 international committees, 80 national committees, and now office in 108 countries. Our heartiest welcome to uh, Professor Ashok Tiyaki. We have with us uh, um, uh, <laughs> We have with us uh, Shushil Bharti ji, Shushil Bharti, who is uh, the station director of uh, Radio Noida uh, and also the director of International Chamber of Media and Entertainment Industry. Well, uh, let me take this wonderful opportunity to invite all my dignified guests to please come forward and light the lamp to inaugurate this uh, summit. Actually, 
to save here for us because there are so many political conflicts, there are so many economic rivalries, but culture is one thing which can save us from the dangers arising from political conflicts and economic rivalries. Therefore, I am very happy that Mr. Marwa thought of organizing this cultural summit and now I can mention a few words about the Association for Asian Union uh, which was founded in August 2001 and the motivation for it. Motivation also is partly culture because Asia is a huge continent. Asia is the birthplace of all the religions of the world. Be it Judaism, Christianity, Hinduism, Islam, Sikhism, Zoroastrianism, all these religions are born in Asia. And there are so many religious conflicts today. Unless these conflicts are resolved at the Asian level, they can never be more resolved at the international level. In science also, when you carry on an experiment, you first carry it on in a smaller scale. And then the results are transferred to the larger scale. There is already in, you, in the world a European Union. There is also an African Union, which was transformation of the organization of African Unity. The Americas are already well organized. There is organization of American states in North America and South America. Australia, the other continent, is a continental state. What we what is left is Asia. Now at one time, all the conflicts in the world emanated from Europe. You had the Napoleonic Wars, you had the Hitler Wars, and you had these two main world wars, which torn torn apart this world. And then the Cold War, World War came, which is can be described as the Third World War. This also emanated from Europe. And there was an iron country between the Soviet Union and the free world, so-called free world. Now we are going through another war, and some people even call it the Fourth World War. It is the war of terrorism against the rest of the world. You see this phenomenon in all the continents of the world. In Africa, you have Boko Haram. In Asia, you have Al-Qaeda. You have Taliban. You have uh, ISIS, the new phenomenon, which is wanting to convert the whole world into Islamic. That's its ideology. And it is negating its own uh, holy book. It's very clearly written in the Quran, in the second chapter, Surah al baqarah which says, Allaji yu'aminun bima unjil ilak bima unjil min kablik Allah is telling Muhammad that good Muslims believe not only what has been revealed to you, Muhammad, but what was revealed to others before you. It is follows from this that religious or truths which are revealed to others, like Judaism, Christianity, Hinduism, Zoroastrianism, all these are as sacred to a true Muslim as they are to others. But no um, mosque is teaching it. No mullah is talking about it because the book has been turned into a tool for political gain. So this is where we have to uh, look it into culture in, a, in some depth and understand it. I have studied Arabic when I was a master of India in Lebanon and I took the original text and word by word I have verified the translation which I have just quoted. The translation itself is from a book published in Saudi Arabia, which was given to me 
as a gift to my Saudi ambassador in Delhi. So I'm mentioning this because I felt that while the European Union solved the problem in Europe, a continent which had destabilized the world for a long period, while Africa has itself already created an African Union. And the latest is when they are sending troops, 5,000 troops to Burundi. The African Union is sending troops to calm down the situation there. They have already sent troops to Somalia. They have already sent troops to Central African countries. UN is not able to do it because the UN has become more a talking shop. It is more like a circus where you in a circus you have the actors, the performers who come and perform and then somebody comes and cleans up the mess. The elephants come and uh, leave behind some mess. Uh, 